Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting, everlasting, yeah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting, everlasting. Here we go, let me hear you. Let all God's people say amen. Let all God's people say amen. Let all God's people say amen. Let's praise the Lord. All right. Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, I can it be? Na 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 Oh yeah, na 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 na. Let all God's people say Amen. Let all God's people say Amen. Let all God's people say Amen. Let's praise the Lord. That's it, all right, now. Communication is key. And the work that uh, the bloggers are doing is, I think, very significant in terms of the communication that is taking place on issues as fundamental as, as life. But the, the need to communicate on key fundamental issues to bring people unedited information is so essential and that's what I believe that the, the the blogosphere is doing. We found a way to finally circumvent the filter of not just the the big three but even the cable networks that like to filter out some of the messages on key issues like life and marriage. This week as we're focused on life I think it's uh, important to note the American people increasingly are standing on the side of life. We know in the overall polls that, a, albeit slight, but there is a majority of Americans who stand fundamentally on the side of life. They have chosen life. Also, it's significant to note that the numbers have remained almost unchanged of the number of Americans who do not want to fund abortion with their tax dollars. And I will tell you this, I believe that we saw the government's attempt to take over health care foiled because of the abortion issue. Mm -hmm. If it were not because of the adamant opposition to being forced to be participants in the grisly process of ending a human life, we would have government health care today. Mm -hmm. Killing people by abortion is not health care reform. I, as a, a Christian, do not want my tax money to be used to kill people by abortion or any other means. He did a good job in opposing abortion, and I hope he takes it to the trenches and, uh, and uh, continues to oppose a taxpayer-supported uh, abortion. The founders got it right. You know, no other country was started on the premise that this nation was started on. And I tell people, next description, those words that started... Those words that started the Declaration of Independence, that document that started this grand experiment we call America, this grand experiment in freedom and liberty. Next to scripture, those first lines are the greatest words ever put on paper. We hold these truths to be self-evident, all are created equal, and endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. And two things jump out at you from that statement. The first and the most basic is there's a creator. No other country started with this concept that we as human beings get our rights from the creator, we don't get them from government. That fact alone sets us apart. It's what makes America so unique, what makes America the greatest nation in history. Uh, we get our rights from God because simply we're, we're created in His image and we're human beings. And it's government's primary job to protect your rights. And your most important rights, it's, 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 it's always interesting to notice the order the founders placed the rights they chose to mention. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. Can you go after your goals and your dreams? Can you pursue those things that have meaning and, and, and significance to you and your family? If you first don't have liberty, if you first don't have freedom, and you ever experience true liberty, true freedom, if government doesn't protect your most fundamental right, your right to life. My name is Barbara, and I'm from uh, Meadville, Pennsylvania. I think that we're trying to, to 
to uh, impress this government, our leadership of our government, that the right to life is a God-given right. And people, politicians, don't have the right to take that life away. You all know the old, the old story from Scripture. When the Philistines were camped against the Israelites, and every day the giant would walk out and issue the challenge, who will fight the lion? The Israelites' response was, he's so big we can never defeat. But David's response was, he's so big I can't miss. That's, that's the attitude. This issue, think about it, and apply it to this issue. This issue with technology now is so, so central, so important, so obvious, that if we continue just to proclaim the truth, we continue to bring youngsters like this little guy back here in the back, uh, we, we continue to put the optimistic face on, on, on the gift of life, we're going to win. speak up for those who have no voice. One who is greater than us stands up and speaks for us. So I'm encouraged by uh, what we see happening. 37 years of these marches, have we made as much progress as we'd like? No, but we've made significant progress. I believe that as a nation we're on the verge of being a predominantly pro-life nation once again. I believe we'll see that even in my lifetime. I believe it is coming if we do not grow weary. And we are going to win this war against the culture of death. It is ending. For the first time now, there are more pro-life people in this country. And it's what, what is it coming from, the three Ps? We are starting to get the message that all life is precious. And we know to protect life. If we live purity, we know pure love is real love. And prayer this battle is being, going to be won on our knees because what does Jesus say? Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. So right now in this Mass, we're going to pray and we're going to march and we're going to win. Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of